Vulcan and Vampra. They should have been here hours ago. Good evening, Primeval. You sent for us? I sent for you this morning. Where have you been? Sorry, Great One. It's a long way from Transylvania. And we never go out during the day. Ah, yes. Well, then, you'll love this job. I'm sending you into the future, to the dark side of the moon. Specifically, to Moon Base Alpha in the Earth year 2186. They've created a new food source called Moon Blooms. It can wipe out hunger. There won't be any more starving people in the world. I don't like that. So I want you to destroy that food. All of it. Piece of cake. Not necessarily. Those miserable ghostbusters are there putting in ghost alarms. Don't worry, Primeval. We'll take care of those ghost buffoons. We'll squeeze them like this. No, you fool! Ah, now I'm covered in moonbloom gum. Yeah, I can't get it off. And it smells wonderful. I hate it. I think we'd better get going before he gets loose. I think you're right. That's the last of the ghost alarms. Good! Now get off of me! You're giving me a hood ache. What's this? My good luck coin. My dad gave it to me. I never let it out of my sight. How's it coming? Just about finished, Mr. Mayor. Your work with Moonblooms is too important to be left unguarded, Mr. Mayor. Speaking of work, I'd better be getting back. You enjoy yourselves. Keita, you run along and play now. Don't bother our guests. But, Daddy, there's nothing to do. Keita, you must learn not to depend on others to keep you entertained. Run along now and try to find something to do. Whatever you say, Daddy. Goodbye, everyone. It was nice to have met you. Bye-bye. Ah, these moon loungers are great. I've never felt so relaxed. Yeah, it's more like a vacation than work. The alarm! So much for the vacation. We've got a ghost. Let's go! Go! Whatever it is. Let's get it. Those don't look like ghosts to me. Hmm. I wonder. Eddie, you go around to the right. Tracy, the left. I'm up the middle. Control balloon. They use them like scarecrows. You mean this is someone's idea of a joke? I'm afraid so. A false alarm. Kita, come here, please. You caused this false alarm? 
Y yes Kita, don't you know it's very wrong to set false alarms? Why did you do it, Kita? Nothing ever happens around here. I, I was bored. I just wanted to have some fun. Listen, Kita, we're sorry that you're bored, but setting false alarms is dangerous. And do you know why? No. Well, for one thing, it's the same as telling a lie. For another, someone could get hurt answering a false alarm. Yeah, like me. What was that? It's a robot security guard. It thinks we're intruders. We don't have permission to be in the Moonbloom field. Can't we tell him we're on his side? Too late for that. The robot is programmed to stop us, unless we can stop him first. Come on, let's take off, guys. Here comes another one. Come on, Kita. We're getting out of here. Tracy, stop him before he fires his rocket. Okie dokie. <laughs> Whoa, that was close. We still have a problem, guys. I don't like to be so stern, but Kita must understand how dangerous it is to set false alarms. When you're growing up, some lessons are hard to learn. And I thought it was boring before. Now I'm really bored. Wow! Those people, they must be vampires. But I'd better make sure. We must try to fit in with these strange people. So, while we're here, we will be the Dracos. We will destroy the moon blooms and capture the Ghostbusters for Primeval. Now, let's go meet the mayor. I'll tell him we're his new neighbors. <gasps> they are vampires, and they're after the moon blooms. I've got to warn everybody. So, you're our new neighbors, eh? Pleased to meet you, Mr. Drackel. Everyone, listen. Those people, the Drackles, they're not what they seem. They're vampires. <laughs> <laughs> vampires! Do we look like vampires? <laughs> Young lady, you're already being punished for those false alarms. Now you disobey me, leave the house, and tell lies about our new neighbors. It's not a lie, Daddy. Please believe me. How can I believe you after what you did? Now go home. Friend. Oh, Eddie, what am I going to do? Nobody believes me. The 
That's what happens when you do things like false alarms, Kita. But are you telling the truth now? Yes! Yes, I am! I wish someone would believe me. I believe you. I believe you, too. Too bad you will never get the chance to convince anyone else. Time for you two to take a nap. Inside, Eddie! Quick! Good. We're safe now. I don't think so. Look! Eddie? I'm getting sleepy. So... Oh, my. They're both still out. When I cast my spell on people, they, they stay spelled. Enjoy your dreams, Spencer. When you awake, you'll be in the middle of a nightmare. <laughs> Now the trick is getting out of here. We can't go that way with Primeval out there. Aha! That's our way out. But how do we get up there? There's nothing to climb on. Watch this! <laughs> Ladies first. Should be the control. Come on, Eddie. You can't escape, then, sir. to a lot of trouble for nothing. <laughs> Maybe this will slow you down. I hate this stuff. Go, Keita, hurry. Tell Jake everything. But, but they won't believe me if you're not there. Here, show Jake this. He'll understand. Sorry, Eddie. If I hadn't made that false alarm, you wouldn't have to be doing this. No time. Here he comes. Go! Hurry! St st stay back, Red Robes! Not a chance, Spencer! Oh, ah, I got you! Oh. I really hate Moonblooms! Kita, what are you doing here? Haven't you learned... Father, please. Primeval is here. Eddie is trying to hold him back. And the vampires are... Now, I don't know why you're making up these stories, but... Jake, look! Wait, she's telling the truth. Eddie would never part with that unless he was in trouble. Let's go, Ghostbusters! Warm him up. Stand back, Jake. I'll take care of this. Are you okay, buddy? I am now, but that was a chilling experience. <laughs> That's nothing compared to what will happen now. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Victor. There's only one of you and four of us. 
Yeah, not quite. Get them, Vempla. Uh-oh! She's going batty! Duck! Nice going, Trace. You turned that bat into a ball. You still have me to deal with. And you will find I have the power of hundreds. I think we're in trouble. I've got an idea. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Save your strength, Victor. It's all over, ghost blisters. You're going to be spending the rest of eternity in my personal zoo. <laughs> what are these? Ghosts? I didn't order any ghosts. Jake, look. Kita and the mayor are controlling those balloons. You're not the only one with powers, Prime Evil. The ghost bunkers must have powers even I never dreamed of. Do something about this army, Victor! You stopped the force field, Futura! If I remember right, vampires hate garlic and onions. Wanna try it, Tracy? Okie dokie. <laughs> garlic! <laughs> I hate garlic! <laughs> And I hate much more onions. <laughs> you idiot! Must I do everything myself? All right, Goobies. You have overstepped your bounds. What's this? They were just balloons. Uh -oh. Something before Prime Evil gets unstuck. Quick, the space tube. I've got this one. Eddie, get Victor Small Fry. Tracy, Prime Juice Head. Here's a little going away juice, Prime Weevil. You'll pay for this, Ghost. Busters. Send us the bill! And that, I think, takes care of that. Thanks again for saving our moon blooms, Ghostbusters. Just doing our job. Oh, I almost forgot. Your good luck medal, Eddie. Thanks, Kita. Here's something I've been meaning to give you. It's to remind you, no more false alarms. Never again. I promise, Eddie, never again. That's quite a reminder, Eddie. It's made me happier already. <laughs> oh, hi, in today's story, to learn how dangerous it is to tell lies. Telling a wild story just to make yourself seem more important may sound harmless, but it can be very dangerous. And if you get a reputation for telling lies, people will think you're telling a lie even when you're telling the truth. Worst of all, people won't trust you. So stick to the truth, you'll be a lot happier, and you'll even be more important. That's all for today. See you next time.